in this video I'm going to show you how can you downgrade from iOS 11 to uh, iOS 10 and especially for uh, the devices which are iPhone 6s to iPhone uh, 5s because you know these devices will be able to get the latest you know iOS 11 features but uh, you may experience some performance and battery issues like lagging or something so it's the method is very simple that first of all what you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, you know your iPhone model number and then if you have a 5s or if you have an iPhone 6 and then you need to download iTunes on your computer so um, I have already downloaded and connected my iPhone here so the next step is to you know download the files for uh, your iPhone so this is the page that from where you can uh, download the iOS 10.3.3 for your uh, iPhone or iPad that uh, you, but you need to make sure that you have the correct version like if you're if you have a GSM you need to download this firmware but if you have iPhone 5c so you need to download this CDMA you, you need to make sure that which version do you have so in my case I have iPhone 6 and it is it, it has only the one version so uh, when you click on it the downloading will start and I have already downloaded it so it's a IPSW uh, extension and then you need to connect your phone to the iTunes and in this page will be opening if it isn't open you need to make sure that you uh, click your iPhone tab here and then it will open and the next thing is you need to make sure you press the um, you know shift uh, button on your keyboard and uh, for the Windows and the for for the Mac it's the uh, arrow key the left arrow key and then when you hold that one and you know click on restore iPhone and you will see that this is an error okay so when you have turned off the find my iPhone just uh, click here again press shift and click on this restore iPhone now it will ask you for the file that you have downloaded so in, the, in the my case this is the file it's a 2.4 gigs file and uh, you need to make sure that on uh, the extension is a right one like uh, it's an IPSW file and it's specifically for your phone like you don't if you you know flash wrong files you're going to mess up with your uh, phone and the second important thing is like Apple is now only now officially signing the 10.3.3 and you may not be able to downgrade after a few days or maybe a few weeks cannot say but uh, but you now you can I know that I have actually uh, upgraded to iOS 11 then I had some issues on the uh, iPhone 6 basically the battery was draining so fastly so I had to downgrade to 10.3.3 again I know there are uh, different uh, feature that I will miss but I'm okay with that because uh, I want a better battery life so if you are like me so you can you know just uh, follow this video just click on this file and just restore this I'm not going to do it again but uh, when you click on restore your iPhone will be you know turn it, it will be off and you will see Apple logo and uh, bar will be loading it's, it's similar to when how your iPhone upgrade so I use 10 it will take a um, couple of minutes but like it says it will delete all of your data but uh, like upgrading doesn't delete and your data but downgrading will delete everything and it will be like a new phone so make sure that uh, you have backup of everything and then, then just click restore and you're good to go now this is the safest method. there might be some other ways but uh, this is the official way to download from iOS 11 to uh, the one that you want to go back and just uh, do that and you will be fine.